Randy Weaver's home site today on Ruby Ridge in Idaho. Randy Weaver's residence in 1992, before the standoff with the FBI and U.S. Marshals. The FBI and U.S. Marshal Service surrounded Weaver's property after an attempt to serve a bench warrant for Randy Weaver regarding a weapons violation. This siege by federal agents drew protests from neighbors and from around the country. During the course of the standoff, U.S. Marshal W.F. Degen was killed. Samuel Weaver, son of Randy and Vicki Weaver, was shot and killed by federal agents. Vicki Weaver was shot and killed by FBI sniper Lon Ariachi. The Horion Forced Labor Camp No. 22. This forced labor camp is located in North Korea. The camp is also known as Kwan Liso Camp No. 22. The Horion camp was opened in 1965. According to declassified CIA documents, the camp was closed in 2012. The Space Shuttle Challenger exploded shortly after liftoff on January 28, 1986. It was the 10th mission for Challenger. Launch Complex 31 on Cape Canaveral in Florida. The shuttle Challenger is stored in former Pershing missile silos. The remains of the Challenger spacecraft were retrieved from the ocean, catalogued, studied, and then stored here. The island of Schwaninwerder is located on Lake Vance. This is just outside of Berlin. The island had many high-ranking Nazis as former residents. The island was the private residence of Joseph Goebbels and his family. Also Albert Speer, the Nazi Minister of Armaments and War Production, lived on the island. The Goebbels family entertained their private guests at their home on Schwaninwerder. Also located on Schwaninwerder was the Nazi SS Bright School. Any woman engaged to an SS soldier had to first be trained to be a good Nazi wife. 
the SS Bride School was run very strictly by Gertrude Scholz Kling. Bluff Creek in Northern California. The site of the infamous Patterson-Gimlin film of an alleged Bigfoot, was on this sandbar in Bluff Creek. Cryptozoologists have nicknamed the creature in the video, Patty. Filmed in 1967, it is still considered one of the best pieces of evidence for the creature's existence. Picture Oklahoma is known as America's most toxic city. The city was located in the middle of the world's largest lead deposit. Most of the ammunition fired in World War I and World War II was made with lead from the pitcher field. When the wind blows, a cloud of toxic dust blows off of these enormous piles of chat. The toxic dust permeates the city of Pitcher. Because of the mix of cadmium, zinc and lead in the area and in the ground, the creek that runs near Pitcher is an unnaturally bright orange color. Among residents, there was an abnormally high percentage of people with neurological problems. The school in Pitcher had a high number of students with learning disabilities. Eventually the federal government bought all of the properties and businesses in Pitcher, Oklahoma. Because of mines, dug too close to the ground surface, large sinkholes began to form around the town. The town became the nation's largest super fun site for cleanup. Amelia Earhart in an earthwork. This earthwork was created by Kansas artist Stan Hurd in 1997. It is located on Warnock Lake near Amelia Earhart's hometown of Atchison, Kansas.
the famed aviator went missing on July 2nd, 1937. While attempting to circumnavigate the globe, in her Lockheed, Electra 10E. Her tragic fate is a mystery to this day. North Sentinel Island, in India's Bay of Bengal. There has really only been one peaceful attempt to contact the North Sentinelese. That peaceful contact was captured in this video. The North Sentinelese have never shown any interest in having contact with the outside world. This group, approved by the Indian government, brought the natives coconuts as gifts. The island now has a surrounding 5 km, no intrusion zone. In spite of the danger from the natives, and the 5 km no intrusion zone, people still continue to intrude on the island. The MV Primrose, ran aground in the island's coral reef in 1981. The primrose was evacuated and abandoned. The ship is still visible on Google Earth. It has been looted for its metal by the island's inhabitants. Christian missionary, John Allen Chow. Chow paid local fishermen to take him close to the island so he could evangelize the natives. The missionary was killed by the North Sentinelese in a hail of arrows. Please, like and subscribe to Google Earth Creek. Support this channel on Patreon at patreon.com backslash earth underscore creeper.